calling Hindu history as a mythology is one of the worst crime done to the past of the humanity to deny the future of the humanity. Understand? Denying the past of the humanity is denying the future of the humanity. Denying the past glory of the humanity is equivalent to denying the future possibility of the humanity. I am talking for humanity, not even just for Hindus. I am talking for the whole humanity. Hindu history is surely neither legend nor mythology. It is history. History of the extraordinary enlightened civilization that existed. By power manifestation, the first thing I am establishing was Hindu history is real. Bringing legitimacy to Hindu history. Then bringing legitimacy to Hindu powerful principles and cognitions, darshana. A vast, glorious, enlightened civilization started by Paramashiva envisioned and expanded and lived in 56 nations and 200 states and 1700 provinces and through 10,000 sampradayas. In all the 11 dimensions and 14 worlds, cannot be completely denied. Denying it is surely superstitiousness. The volume, amount of the literature, you want to deny the whole 20 million books as mythology? Novel, imagination, hey, there is a level for fantasy, imagination. See, if you have seen elephant with one trunk, you can imagine an elephant with twenty trunk, no problem. But if you have not even seen elephant with one tongue, one trunk, how can you imagine? So there is a level of information processing from truth to fact, fact to fantasy, fantasy to imagination, imagination to delusion and delusion to crankiness, craziness. Even all this has certain logic. Maybe illogical logic, but there is a logic. Illogical logic. The eccentric center. center. Even the eccentricity has center. So with any scale, you cannot establish Hindu history as mythology or imagination. No.